Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Take to the skies over the South Pacific and double strike. A terrorist organization has invaded nine islands and it's up to you to liberate them. Flying your Thrasher Hawk 7 jet equipped with the latest new gun technology and destroy the enemy fortresses to save the world. Double Strike is a standard fly to the right side scrolling shoot 'em up. The screen is unencumbered by a HUD of any kind showing you your score, lives, power ups, etc. You start with six lives, which you can find out with the press of the start button. Your guns are activated with the A button and shoot straight ahead. There are power ups that can double and triple up your bullets as well. There's even a four bullet shot that shoots two ahead and two other at 45 degree angles. There can only be up to five bullets on screen at once though, so you have to wait for them to hit something or get off screen to shoot anymore. Which is a hindrance. There is a bomb pickup that I mistook for a screen clearing bomb when instead it unlocked the ability to drop unlimited bombs with the B button. Bombs are practically required for levels with ground enemies because you certainly don't want to be at ground level with enemy units and bullets flying around. I was able to find a relatively safe space on the left side of the screen just above center on those ground enemy levels, it just doesn't exist otherwise. The invincibility power up is much too short to be of any real use, it will run out right when you need it the most. Seemingly, the smartest strategy is to ignore most enemies and focus on the item givers and larger mini-boss type guys. When you get to the end of level 2, the realization that you're fighting Nazis becomes apparent. Kill them all. When it comes to grading, double strike on NES, graphics get a 1.5. The sprites are pretty awful, there's too little color present. I will give it props for three layers of parallax scrolling but the layers aren't good looking or anything. The sound gets a 1.0, the music is bland and uninspired. The sound effects aren't too overpowering, but they're nothing special. The gameplay gets a 1.5. It works, but just barely. The trade-off between power-ups and number of shots is an unfortunate design choice. The difficulty gets a 1.0. Enemies come on screen from behind you without any warning. Bullets move more quickly than your jet. Fun factor gets 0.5. You'd have to be hurting for something at the bottom of the barrel to enjoy your time here. Overall, Double Strike earns 1.1 and gets a D. It's poorly designed and implemented. Another example of a crappy, unlicensed game. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video. Let me know what you think of Double Strike in the comments, and please subscribe to Head Drop Productions here on YouTube because we want you here for each and every video we release, because it is your destiny.